Hi, everyone, and thanks for having me as part of this panel today. Uh, I'd like to talk through some of my research area uh, in relation to the human as praxis. And so with the state of humanity just now, we are indeed in a moment of praxis, an intersection point with humans, society, politics, and increasingly, our digital media selves. And as with all moments of intersection, they're not simply straightforward points of one trajectory meeting with another and creating a harmonious new path. They are for the most part embedded with politics, economics, significant amounts of cultural nuance. Yet at the same time, this indeed is a moment of humour in our online environments. We've seen a, a significant amount of humour emerge in our online digital media lives through the pandemic, which has enabled us to make sense of the world around us and how we fit within this moment. And this is where social media has become such a significant tool for users to both create and consume media. So to use a term coined by Axel Bruns, we are producers, taking media and using it in ways that enable us to add our own unique human qualities. And while we've enjoyed updates on Facebook, videos on YouTube and dances on TikTok, we must ask ourselves, why did we only see the content that we did? And what of all the other user-driven content that was published during the pandemic? Now, this is the work of automated media systems, and that's driven, they're driven mathematically by calculated recommenders, for example, the For You and the Up Next functionality on social media platforms. Given these platforms are commercially oriented, the recommenders are designed to promote popular content to keep viewers engaged and indeed on the platforms. This is the process of digital intermediation. And this also creates a media diversity problem. How do we ensure a healthy diet of diverse and representative content when we have no control over the mechanisms that drive the visibility of these media? So while humanness may no longer be a noun, careful measures need to be put in place to ensure serendipity remains a constant of our development as humans. Our media systems need to be designed so that we might find the meme of Trump clinging to an American flag alongside the latest Nandy Bushels video in a drum off with Dave Grohl. Is digital intermediation diversity a regulation issue? Is it in the training of users to create diverse worlds? Or is it the producer's role to enable diversity? Perhaps it's a combination of each. I hope this provides a useful, a useful stimulus to engage in further discussions. Thanks very much.